Hi, my name is Katrin and I am originally from Sweden, uh, a small town called Lund. Uh, that's also where my university is, Lund University. And um, I am here in Tokyo, Japan for an exchange year, my first year of my master's. have a really good connection with the nature, especially in the traditional uh, old Japanese architecture, um, where they they like invite the nature into the rooms, and they're very um, sensitive about materials, and uh, they have a good sense of uh, detail in their architecture. Just like a week ago, I visited uh, St. Mary's Cathedral by uh, Kenzo Tange, which is a very cool church um, that you really should visit if you're interested in architecture. It's a concrete church that has a very interesting shape. And um, also, if you're interested in traditional Japanese architecture, I recommend to go visit Tokyo Edo Open Air Museum, which is basically a big park uh, packed with... Um, they have collected houses from uh, all the era eras in the Japanese history. You should go visit Nakajin Capsule Tower by uh, Kishu Kurokawa. Um, which is a very cool building um, that maybe I think you should hurry to see because I heard rumors that it's going to be demolished but I don't know if it's true. If you want to see the view from a nice building is the Tokyo Governmental Building also by Kensu Tanya um, which is a very big and weird building inspired by a um, like a data card. Then by Kinkokuma there is a funny house called Sunny Hills which is in Omote Sando uh, and it's a pineapple cake tea shop. So I'm very inspired by Kinkokuma. That's why I'm in his lab. Uh, here at the University of Tokyo. Um, I really like his works where he works with wood and uh, joinery and how he makes traditional Japanese joinery techniques and craft techniques with uh, modern architecture. So he's absolutely one of the bigger inspiration. 